This is the uh, assembly instructions for the uh, RF screen. Um, the first stage is to place the protective sheet on a wide, clean surface sensibly larger than the complete screen. Place the four, uh, in this case six, uh, main extruded profiles on the protective sheet uh, with the black velvet uh, side face down. If the uh, screen is larger than 96 inches, the length elements uh, come in two parts. Uh, assemble these elements with the connecting rods and three pins and tighten the rods uh, in place with the provided M6 screws. You'd also need to insert the four angle brackets in the provided channel of the vertical profile extrusions and adjust the angles uh, so slightly to compress the velvet. And we're going to tighten those with the uh, provided M6 screws. So with the uh, assembly of the, uh, of the frame on the corner side of things, we'd recommend that uh, once you've got the corner brackets in and, uh, and, and the frame uh, loosely uh, assembled, the uh, M6 bolts are uh, just uh, in a few turns, that uh, just support the frame with your hand from underneath and um, just carefully tighten the two very corner screws. And before going any further, you, uh, if you run your finger underneath the uh, frame on the inside, um, you should feel that uh, all of the uh, uh, pieces of metalwork, etc., all, all line up nice and smoothly. And it's worth checking also the corner uh, before you go ahead and, uh, and tighten uh, all four screws uh, uh, properly. So once the um, uh, main frame is uh, assembled and all the uh, screws are tightened, uh, you'll need to choose the uh, type of wall brackets um, where, uh, between the uh, two options provided, um, and that being that uh, it's a, a Z bracket uh, or a snap-in bracket. The Z bracket is a, a standard and simple solution and, uh, and will apply in most cases, and the snap-in brackets are for uh, provided as a solution for installing the screen in a recessed place to where it uh, cannot be uh, lifted to be hanged. The uh, frame itself um, is, comes pre-marked with uh, locations for fixing uh, either type of bracket um, and uh, uh, the uh, locations can be for, uh, for, for wall or for snapping brackets uh, as shown. The uh, frame we're working on is a, uh, is a, is a 130 um, because of its size uh, and the fact it's uh, over 96 inches uh, the uh, frame will need uh, stiffening bars uh, as we've uh, illustrated here and, uh, and just laid in place. The stiffening bars are uh, held in place using um, screws at uh, either end. What we need to do is to uh, loosen off the screws, fit the stiffening bar and um, not tighten the screws. Just uh, not tighten them fully, just tighten them enough just to retain the bar, um, which we'll do now. And the location of the stiffening bars is uh, already marked on the frame. In preparation for actually fitting the uh, fabric, we've uh, donned our uh, gloves that are provided uh, in the uh, uh, in the in, in the shipment. Uh, that way we. Uh, uh, avoid putting any marks onto the, uh, to the uh, important fabric. So once we've uh, got the uh, stiffening bars in place um, we're going to uh, fit the fabric. We'll start with the white fabric. Um, as you can see here it, uh, it comes uh, supplied on a tube um, and uh, what we'll do is we'll unroll the, uh, the fabric and we'll start from uh, one end of the frame and feed it uh, approximately in place. Uh, underneath the uh, stiffening bars, so that the fabric is laid out, uh, ready to be uh, ready to be fixed into the uh, gripping bars.
Before uh, inserting the fabric in the profile groove, apply a very slight tension. The progressive insertion into the groove will significantly increase this tension. To insert the fabric into the gripper, use the tool provided. Uh, start with the uh, smaller edge on the tool and gently push the fabric uh, inside the gripper uh, using a rotating movement along the curved edge. Um, once you've reached the end of the curved edge, take the tool out of the profile and start again. Um, during the whole process of fixing the inlighter fabric and the black backing, the stiffening bars should remain inserted. They just move sideways by sliding the protruding pins, uh, uh, in this case it's actually screws, in the grooves. Um, while fitting the fabric you need to check that the tension is sufficiently uniform to avoid uh, uneven bending of the screen frame. Um, the tension must be sufficient enough to avoid any wave or wrinkle. Once the uh, white fabric is stretched, check the evenness of the surface. Um, Again, the tension uh, should not be in excessive. Um, in case of any problem, uh, you'll need to release the uh, fabric uh, locally from where the uh, uh, unevenness is and uh, insert it again. When fitting the fabric, uh, you need to ensure that uh, the fabric uh, end result is, uh, uh, is uh, tensioned and, uh, and smooth and wrinkle-free. And the best way to achieve this is to um, work your way down the uh, long edge of the, uh, of the frame um, and uh, on, on one side only, uh, fit the fabric all the way down the gripper on one side and then um, move over to the uh, other long side of the frame and work your way down from the centre of the frame out towards the corners, applying tension all the time. You will visually be able to, uh, to see the uh, wrinkles uh, uh, get pulled out of the fabric so you should end up with a relatively um, smooth surface uh, and then further apply tension at the, uh, at the ends um, once you have the, uh, the, the longer uh, sections fixed in place and uh, then you'll see that uh, the uh, fabric will become uh, totally smooth. Uh, the uh, fabric is uh, supplied oversized to give you uh, um, some uh, extra material to, uh, to work with while getting it into the uh, gripping bars. Um, the excess fabric can be trimmed off leaving uh, approximately uh, uh, an inch worth of fabric uh, uh, along the edge uh, as you can see. Once the white fabric is fitted, it's worth uh, checking your work and just making sure that uh, you have a uh, sufficient uh, tension uh, on the uh, on the fabric itself. Um, here we have uh, fitted the fabric and we have a few ever so slight uh, undulations in the fabric there, which we will remove by applying some extra tension in this area here on the inside on the grippers. The uh, next stage will be to fit the uh, black backing uh, onto the uh, onto the frame itself. Um, that again is uh, provided uh, oversize. Uh, it has a softer fuzzy side and um, non-fuzzy side and uh, the, the, the softer fuzzy side is the side that we place against the white, uh, white fabric and we'll do that uh, as we did uh, the, uh, the white fabric earlier feeding along from one end underneath the stiffening bars and, uh, and lay it in place then fix it in place into the uh, gripper rods. Again when uh, uh, fitting the black backing you'll uh, need to apply tension uh, all round um, and uh, the final edge uh, of the uh, fabric uh, when fitting it into the gripper you can uh, generally uh, remove uh, the remaining creases uh, in the fabric uh, that may have occurred when you're fitting um, and uh, that's uh, just done by applying tension as you, uh, the same as you did with the, uh, with the white fabric. Once the uh, black backing is uh, firmly in place um, then uh, slide the sniffing bars uh, back to their uh, original location um, as it's uh, marked uh, on the frame itself and uh, using the uh, Allen key uh, provided uh, tighten them up. Again it's uh, worth uh, noting that uh, uh, if you uh, tighten to a certain extent uh, all of the uh, screws down and then just uh, double check that uh, it's still in alignment and then tighten them fully when you're, when you're satisfied. So once we've uh, tightened the stiffening bars the uh, screen itself is, uh, is ready to hang. Um, uh, this was our uh, RF uh, screen, um, as you saw it uh, best uh, completed uh, with, uh, with two people, um, made uh, life uh, uh, a lot easier. Um, uh, thanks for watching, um, goodbye.